All right, Geometry Chapter 3, Section 5. Here we go. Proving lines are parallel. Now, some of you might be intimidated going, oh no, Mr. Renault, are we going to have to do proofs again? Well, we're going to do proofs. They'll be indirect, and we won't actually be making our two-column proofs, but we're just going to be proving certain things. So in the last section, we had parallel lines cut by a transversal. Okay, and we had lots of relationships that were formed. We had vertical angles. We had alternate interiors. We had alternate exteriors. We had consecutive interiors. And we also had corresponding. We had vertical. We had supplementary. Um, so you're going to get some statements today that look something like this. The book might say angle 1 is congruent to angle 5. Is that enough information to prove, and let's call this uh, line A and line B. Is that enough information to prove that line A is parallel to line B? And we would answer that with yes. That makes them par parallel. The reason is because angle 1 and angle 5 are corresponding angles. And corresponding angles are only congruent in parallel lines. Okay. They have some postulates over on page, let me flip to it real quick, some postulates on um, page 205 and page 206. Those are going to help you, you can just write those postulates instead of, um, instead of writing out the whole thing. So great set of postulates on 206, got alternate exterior angles consecutive interior angles, alternate interiors, perpendicular, ooh, perpendicular transversal. That's good. So that just proves it backwards. Okay, if one and five are congruent, then those two lines must be parallel because those are corresponding angles, and corresponding angles are congruent only in parallel lines. So let's look at some, some other examples you might see. You might get um, an actual problem like this. Let's go the other direction. Go all crazy. Uh-oh, he's going crazy. And they might give you some angle values. Let's say 5x plus 7 and then 7x minus 21. The question to something like this would be, if these two lines are parallel, what would the value of x be? And so first we got to identify the type of angles they are. They're both inside. They're on opposite sides of the transversal. So that makes them alternate interior. So I'm just going to identify them as alternate interior. And if those lines are parallel, alternate interior angles are congruent. So I would take 7x minus 21 and set it equal to 5x plus 7. So we're just going to solve for x. Let's just tidy this up in a couple of steps. I subtract 5x to both sides. I'm also going to add 21 to both sides. That cancels this piece and this piece, leaving me 2x equals 28 
so x is going to equal 14. Be very careful. They might want to know what x is. They might want to know what the angle is. They might want to know both. I'm going to go ahead and do both. That way I cover all my bases. x is 14. And so to find one of the angles, I'm going to sub it back in. And so we've got 14 times 5. Okay, that's going to be 70. And I add that, and I get 77. Okay, so the x value is 14, and the y value is, or y value, and the actual angle value is 77. Again, please, 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 please check to see exactly what they want. Okay. So that's about a little over six minutes. That's chapter three, section, section five, proving lines parallel.